Hey everyone, it is Travis Halonia and Donovan Beyer, and we are excited to announce Season 2 of the Spirit Empowered Leader Podcast coming January 2nd, 2024. We, we are so thankful that you have subscribed, that you're part of this journey, and we just wanted to, before Christmas, come on here and tell you that we are really excited for what God is doing through this podcast and what is going to happen in season two. We've already started talking to some guests and interviews, and, and we wanted to give you a little snapshot, a little, a little bit of what is happening behind the scenes and prepare you. Many of people have been asking me, Donovan, and I know you, and saying, when is season two coming? It's coming. We've had some amazing guests, and we're looking forward to introducing a few of them to you today. But uh, for the most part, we're just excited because we're we believing that God is going to do amazing things through this podcast. Yeah, and one of the things that we've heard back from you, our listeners, our viewers, whether you're watching on YouTube or uh, subscribing, Apple, Spotify, wherever you get your podcasts, uh, you've said to us, hey, we really love the stories. So many mm -hmm. so many of the listeners, Donna, have said, hey, we, we love the content, but man, the stories, when someone shares their their leadership journey, um, it's it's a different ballgame. And so yeah. we have really focused in on hearing stories, talking through, talking to people and going, tell us your story, whether it's a pastor, whether it's a leader, a business person, um, mm -hmm. and, and, and that has been amazing so far. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And just from hearing their stories, there's so many questions that arise and lots of different principles and and just ways that we can apply what God has done through them. And uh, it's just pretty, it's been really cool to hear how God's moved. And uh, I can just say honestly that when, when we commit to being spirit-empowered leaders, God does amazing things. And we hear that through all these stories. Yeah, and so we want to thank you, our audience, because in this last year, we hit in some of the top charts in Canada for the Spirit Empowered Leader. And so if you know somebody that would love this podcast, would you start getting the word out? Would you start uh, telling people January 2nd, subscribe, be a part of it? Some of you have joined uh, since we've had season one, and you've heard maybe us speak somewhere, and he said, hey, subscribe to this podcast. And now you subscribed, and this is the, the first kind of bonus you're getting, but it's just a teaser to say, hey, the podcast season two is coming. And uh, we've had the opportunity, uh, we're still interviewing a bunch of guests for this season. It, it is amazing. But uh, four people that we want to highlight today that are coming up in season two. And the first one is Shayla Visser. If you don't know Shayla, you're going to love Shayla. Shayla is a director uh, of Alpha Canada and Alpha North America, just an incredible voice. And uh, you're going to love what she's going to bring to this season. What I realized is at different points in your leadership journey, it requires different things of you. But let me tell you what is consistent through it all. Consistency is humility before God and a dying to self-reliance. The hardest thing for me, uh, for those of you who know the Enneagram or maybe you do Berkman or all these different tests, everything says I'm an activator going for it. And for me to die to myself and be less self-reliant has been the hardest part of my entire journey, regardless of what season I'm in. Another one of the amazing leaders we had the privilege of uh, hearing their story is Ken Shigematsu. He's a pastor at 10th Church in Vancouver. He's also an author. And uh, just what he shared with us and what he's going to share through the full podcast is just is so incredible. So uh, we look forward to uh, hearing more from Ken. We can either strive to impress God or others to prove that we are worthy. Or if we know that God loves us truly without condition, we can still want to give our best to our lives, our families, uh, the work that we're called to. But it doesn't have to come out of a place of anxiously needing to prove that I am enough, that I'm worthy, but out of a deep place of gratitude and joy and, and peace and inner rest that comes from knowing that that we are not only accepted, but cherished in the eyes of the one who matters most. Uh, one of the people that we've interviewed for season two is Mike Frank. And Mike came highly recommended to us from a guest we had last season. And, and Mike has been in the business sphere for decades. 
He has worked for some of the largest corporations in America involved in human resources. Uh, some of the backbone to the internet through level three communications was the company he was a part of. So even us being on this podcast, all of it, the backbone, he was in those companies that started it. You're going to love what he has to say about business and about uh, serving and being a spirit empowered leader in the realm of business. You know, when I was at PepsiCo and I got to say, PepsiCo is known for high performance. Um, that was the deal we made. You know, you give us your lifeblood, we'll make you rich. <laughs> and um, so it was in an atmosphere of everything was performance based. And all of a sudden now I had felt like my heart had softened. I didn't have all the principles down that I do now about you know, what does the scripture say about this and scripture say about that? But I just felt like there were times where I made a different choice, either that impacted me or the people that I was responsible for. The last guest we want to give you a little teaser for today is Pastor Phil Kniesel from Edmonton, Alberta. He's a lead pastor at Hope City Church, and their church is going through some amazing, amazing uh, just fruit right now. They're seeing lots of people come to Jesus. They're seeing lots of growth. And so it was awesome to talk to Pastor Phil about what it looks like to lead in seasons of plenty and seasons of success and kind of some of the practices that he's put in place before this all happened. And so we look forward to sharing more of Pastor Phil's story with you all. Everyone wants growth. Everyone prays for growth. Not everyone talks about the complexities of growth and when it happens, how much work it actually is. We're in chaos right now. You feel it. There's massive growth, but don't shy away from it, lean into it and learn from it. And then I just gave this caveat. I said, remember the same God we pray to who provided this is the same God who will give us the wisdom and the know-how of how to do this. Yeah, there's a lot of complexities with growth. I think what I'm learning is you have to hold organizational structure loosely. You have to hold passion with Jesus tightly. Well, this is just a snapshot, just a teaser of what is coming in season two. We have many other guests and many things that we believe that God is saying and teaching us and just excited to journey together. So uh, get ready. January 2nd, the Spirit Empowered Leader Podcast season two. It's going to be amazing. We can't wait to share it with you. Thank you for listening to the Spirit Empowered Leader Podcast. We hope that this podcast has encouraged you as an empowered leader. This podcast is brought to you by Resurgence Initiatives. Our mandate is to revive churches, release leaders, and reach people. We are on a journey, and the dream God has put in our heart involves you. Learn more at liveresurgence.com or on Instagram at liveresurgence.